Hello, welcome to Ganta News of Ganta Radio and Television Station. Here's slide today. Leaders of Ganta City came to visit Ganta for Ted Greetings to former Prime Minister Nguyen Đăng Dũng, former standing of the Secretariat Lê Hồng Anh in Ho Chi Minh City. Cơ đỏ District People's Committee held a ceremony to announce that Tổng thống Cơ Mù had reached the advanced new style rural standards in 2021. The Department of Industry and Trade cooperated with EB Liability Limited Company, or Go Gantel Supermarket, to organize the 2022 Vietnamese Food Fair. Tap News On January 21st, Mr. Le Quang Man, member of the party central committee, came secretary of the City Party Committee, who is also head of the National Assembly delegation. Mr. Trung Vi Trung, chairman of the City People's Committee, Major General Nguyễn Văn Thuận, director of the City Public Security, Cardinal Jim Thống Nhất, commander of the City Military Headquarters, came to visit and offer the greetings to former Prime Minister Nguyễn Tân Dũng, former standing of the Secretary Secretariat Lê Hồng Anh in Ho Chi Minh City. Secretary of the City Party Committee Lê Quang Mạnh is pleased to announce important and outstanding achievements that the City has achieved in recent years. Uh, currently, despite facing many difficulties and challenges, especially the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, however, under the leadership and direction of the Central Committee, the City Party Committee, the People's Council, the City People's Committee, the participation of the whole political system, the joint effort and consensus of the business community and all classes of people up to now every day can to launch only a few dozen positive cases of SARS-CoV-2, the city's political goals and tasks in 2021 are implemented synchronously and comprehensively and achieve many important and positive results. The city economy is stable and growing. People's material and spiritual life, social cultural activities, political security, social safety, order, so on and so forth. On the occasion of the 2022 Lunar New Year, the Secretary of the Kentucky City Party Committee wishes the former state leaders and their families a happy, warm, and prosperous spring with good health, happiness, and prosperity. He expressed his heart that comrades will continue to contribute efforts, wisdom, and leadership experience to help local party committees and authorities well perform the work of building the party, political system, and social economic development, ensuring national defense and security, making the country richer and stronger. On January 21st, Mr. Nguyen Tong Nhiem, head of the Internal Affairs Board of the City Party Committee, Mr. Nguyen Thu Khen, Vice Chairman of the Kentucky City People's Committee, together with the delegation and leaders of Thalai District, organized for delegations to visit and give gifts to one way typical policy people and families and 20 poor households in the district. At the destinations, leaders of the city and Tulai district graciously visited the lives of the families and expressed their deep gratitude for the contributions of the martyrs who were invested and in their families to the country. At the same time, Vice Chairman expressed his wish that families continue to promote patriotic traditions, encourage their children and grandchildren to abide by the guidelines and the policies of the party and laws of the state contributing to the construction of Thalai District in particular and the city in general is increasingly civilized, rich and beautiful. Leaders would like to wish families a new year full of health, happiness, prosperity and encouragement given to gifts. Each gift consists of $1 million in cash with a total amount of $120 million. On the morning of January 21st, Arabank Center Branch No. 2, Arabank Funding District Branch, in collaboration with Funding District People's Committee, organized the 2022 Ted Gate Program, Shrine for the Poor. Arabank Center Branch No. 2, Funding District Branch, gave 200 Ted Gifts to poor families and families in the Savantic Plage. Each Ted Gift includes rice and necessities worth 500000 dong. After this job, Arabank and Tur Brand No. 2 will continue the 2022 Ted Year program in the remaining districts of Kentucky City. 
Moving on the other news, on January 21st, Godot District People's Committee held a ceremony to announce that Dong Thang Kumun had read the advanced new study rural standards in 2021. Mr. Nguyen Ngoc Hè, Vice Chairman of Kata City People's Committee, attended. After four years of construction, after now, Dong Thang Kumun has a trip 19 per 19 criteria of advanced new style of rural commune. The appearance of the rural is much prosperous. The hamlet and inter-hamlet roads have been hardened to over 80%. People's living standards are increasingly improved per capita income in 2021, reached more than 57 million dong per year, an increase of 19 million dong compared to 2017. The number of poor households decreased to only two households, accounting for 0.17%. Models of criminal prevention are effectively promoted, contributing to stabilizing the political security situation, social order and safety of the locality. Dong Tang Kamun has been recognized by contested public security as meeting the three nurses' standard for many years. On the morning of January 21st, Gantai Department of Industry and Trade cooperated with EB Liability Limited Company or Go Gantai Supermarket to organize the 2022 Vietnamese Youth Fair. The Vietnamese Youth Market in 2022 will take place within three days, January 21st to 23rd at Go Gantai Supermarket. The fair has 14 stalls with over 50 products meeting the gap and all cup safety standards of businesses and cooperatives in Gantai City and Hoang Province. The fair is one of the activities to support and create conditions for businesses and cooperatives in the city to promote quality products and use to consumers at stable prices. Also on the morning of January 21st, Kentucky City Tourism Association organized a delegation to survey a number of tourist attractions in the area in order to restore tourism activities in the city according to the policy of the government. More to follow. Participating in the survey, there were nearly 22 operators with branches in Kentucky City. Accordingly, the delegation visited and launched at Fiing Eco Tourism Area, Mekan Tourist Village, and Hills Cottage Tourist Area, located in Fongdi District. These are large scale tourist attractions that are carefully invested with many attractive tourist products bearing the hick ecology of the Mekong Delta. The leader of the City Tourism Association said the purpose of the survey was to strengthen the connection between tourist areas and destinations with travel businesses, thereby opening up the prospect of recovery for the smokeless industry after a long period of silence due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. This is also an opportunity for the tourism industry to reorganize activities in a south direction in the new situation under the direction of the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism, as well as the City Party Committee and People's Committee of Kentucky City. Coming up next, the weather forecast. That's all for Gantai News of Gantai Radio and Television Station. Thanks so much for your attention. Please visit us on website, gantaitv.vn. Bye for now.